Sir Handel had been naughty. So the fat controller made him stay in the shed for a while. Peter Sam was now busier than ever. He had to do Sir Handel's work as well as his own. He was very excited and the fireman found him hard to handle. Anyone would think that he wanted to work, said Sir Handel, who was lonely and bored. All respectable engines do, replied Scarlowy. Keep calm, Peter Sam, and you'll do well. But Peter Sam was in such a state that he couldn't listen. He collected some coaches and went on his way. But somehow the faster he wanted to go, the slower the journey became. When Peter Sam finally fussed into the station, Henry was already there. This won't do, youngster, said Henry. I can't be kept waiting. If you are late tonight, I'll go off and leave your passengers behind. Pa, said Peter Sam. Secretly, he was a little worried, but not for long. The guard blew his whistle and waved his green flag. Peter Sam puffed happily away, singing a little song. I'm Peter Sam, I'm running this line. I'm Peter Sam, I'm running this line. What fun it all is, he thought as he journeyed along the line. The coaches enjoyed themselves too. They were growing fond of Peter Sam. Every afternoon they had to wait an hour at the station by the lake. 